If you have always thought about economics as something to study to better understand finance, or better understand investing, or better understand politics, then you have thought about economics wrongly. We study economics to advance the cause of human flourishing. This introduction to economics class came together originally as I taught it in an actual classroom at a faith-based private high school, and now I'm trying to bring it to a broader audience. Now, when I say that economics is not merely social, it is not to deny economics as a social science. It is to classify the science element of that as something that is observational, it is empirical, it is universal, and yet it is rooted in an understanding of the human person. I would argue that from the garden all the way to the modern era, that the cultivation of creation has always been the essence of an economy. So this is what the economy is. It's the playground whereby we are cultivating creation through human labor, for the provision of human needs, through relationships of exchange, and doing so all with profound implications. So one of the things you'll get out of this course is a study of the history of economic thought. We're gonna cover the greats, the good, bad, and ugly of past economic thought, but most importantly, seek to apply the wisdom of the old to the challenges of the new less supply side activity never creates wealth. Wealth is greater goods and services and ideas and formulations in an economy. I want people to really understand economics for what it is in the fullest sense possible, a social science that deeply grasps the human person. We not only will define human flourishing in this course, but provide the tools and framework necessary to advance that cause through a better viewpoint and application of real economic truth. Why all humans matter in a transaction is because I believe all humans are created with dignity. That they have this elevated place that we ought not to ever accept a view that says some people are truly special economic actors and others are just there to live off of their largesse. I'm hoping that people who take this course, whether they're 60 years old or 30 years old, can have the same experience that I've seen with 17 and 18 year olds taking the course. And that is a rethinking about how they interact in society, about what their whole purpose in life is. These are fundamental issues that basically start off with the purpose of man what man was created for. Well, that's what economics is about. The individual and social dimension of man out into the world, it makes economics far less boring. They call it a dismal science, it's not. If it's properly understood, it has everything to do with the purpose of life. What could be more exciting than that?